An important part of working with computers is your ability to manage your files. This prevents errors and helps you to easily access your files and work on them later. So in this class, the file management system that works best is to create a folder on your flash drive for this class and create folders for each of the units in this class. Let's see how to do this. If we go to the Start menu and choose Computer, we'll be able to see our flash drive. If your flash drive name doesn't make sense to you or it's not a name that you particularly gave it, you can right click on it and choose Format to change the volume label and then hit Start. But be careful, it will delete all the stuff in your flash drive. To understand more about this topic, please watch the video Flash Drive Basics in the D2L content area of our course. I'll go into my flash drive and right now you can see I have four files that are just kind of hanging out there. We don't know what class they were used for, but right now it doesn't make such a big deal because it's only four files. But imagine at the end of the semester when you might have 15 to 30 files in here, it kind of becomes hard to manage. So the best way is to create folders inside of your flash drive that uniquely describe what those files were created for or represent. So right now I'm going to create a folder for this class called CIS118 and it's probably a good idea to create a new folder for the other items because they all belong to a different class. So I can highlight all of them, move them to there, and it looks much better, much more organized, and it's easier to manage. So I'll go into the CIS118 folder and I need to create new folders for the four major units in this class. We have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. And these folders are what you should use for each of your assignments in those units. So if I open up Microsoft Word and I start typing a research paper, I can go to File, Save As, make sure it's called Research Paper, and then I'm going to choose my flash drive and that's another good reason for naming your flash drive. It's much easier to find. Go into this classes folder, the word unit folder, and hit save. And then from there on out in that flash drive, it's easier to find those assignments because they're organized. This prevents you from duplicating items, making errors in where you save an item, and if you ever find that you thought you saved it in the right place and you didn't save it in the right place, you could always use this search area up here and type the name of the file. Just make sure you click back on computer and you can click it here too and then search for that term so it searches the whole computer not just your flash drive. But another easy way is to open up the program the file was created in, go to file and you'll see a section called recent and this will show you the most recent documents that you've created in this program and it'll tell you exactly where you saved that file. Then you can click on it and open it. You can resave it to wherever it needs to go or when you're in that recent section and it tells you where it was saved, you can go into that area and move it to its correct folder. Again, if you have good file management and organizational skills with this course from the very beginning, it'll make your life a lot easier and you won't lose any documents or create any errors.